It was a beautiful question. I really enjoyed myself. And so, uh, Nadim Sage is a two digit number X. X is a two digit number AB. Squaring which yields a three digit number whose last digit is Y. X square is dash dash Y. Consider the statements below. Statement 1, Y is a prime number. Statement 2, Y is one third of X. To determine Nadim's age uniquely, even taking 1 and 2 together is not sufficient. Either of 1 and 2 by itself is sufficient. The data sufficiency question, how much of the information we have is enough to answer the question. But absolutely beautiful question. I want to look at the first statement and then find out whether I can find the answer. If we can, we can. If we can't, we cannot. X square is a three digit number that ends in Y. Right? Now Y is a prime number. A perfect square ends in Y. That means Y should be 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9. No perfect square ends in 2. No perfect square ends in 3. No perfect square ends in 7 or 8. 0 is possible, 1 is possible, 2 square, 4, 3 square, 9, 4 square, 6, 5 square, 5, 6 square, 6, 7 square, 9, 8 square, 4, 9 square, 1. Works rather beautifully. These are the possible digits. Now we know that y is prime number. That means y should be 5. And brilliant because this is not prime, not prime, not prime, not prime, not prime. We know this digit. So our square number is dash dash 5. Nice, brilliant. And we know x, we, but we want to find Nadim's age, which is x. If y ends in 5, that means y is a multiple of 5. That means this number, x square is a multiple of 5, not, not y, y is 5. x square is a multiple of 5, that means x is a multiple of 5. That means x should end in 5. So x should be 15 or 25 or 35 or 45 or something like that. Right? 15 square is 225. 25 square is 625. 35 square is 1225. We know that x square is a three digit number. So 35 square, 45 square, 55 square, all of those are ruled out. 15 square is 225, 25 square is 625. Both of these work. Y is prime, that means Y can only be 5. If y is 5, X ends in 5. That means X could be 15 or 25. It cannot be 5. 15 or 25, both work. 35 onwards don't work, but 15, 25, both are possible. So statement 1, very interesting, very useful, but not, no, no great shakes yet. Right. Now, X is two digit number AB. X square is a three digit number ending in Y. Y is one third of X. Y is one third of X. Right. So very interesting. Y is one third of X. Right. So we know Y is the ending digit 0, 1, sorry, 4, 5, 6, 9. So X could be 0, 3, 12, 15, 18, 27. X is a two digit number. These two are out. X is 12. What is 12 square? Is 144. Y is one third of X. Yeah, that seems well. 12 by 4. 12 by 3 is 4. Yeah, it could, that could work. X could be 15. 15 square. 225 that could work yeah 15 by 3 is 5 that works 18 18 square is 324 this doesn't work 18 square is 324 4 into 3 is 12 that doesn't work so y could not be 6. If y were 6, x would be 18. 18 square is 324. That does not really end in 6. That's out. 27 square. 729. 27 by 3 is 9. That works. So, so y is 1 third of x. That works. Y is 1 third of 18. That doesn't work. But y could be 
x could be 12, 15 or 27. Brilliant. So statement 1 tells us y could be x could be 15 or 25. Statement 2 tells us x could be 12, 15 or 27. Excellent. That means even taking 1 and 2 together is not sufficient. 1 alone is not sufficient because it will be 15 or 25. 2 alone is not sufficient. 12, 15 or 27. But if you put both together, if we know why is a prime number and we know y is one third of x, then we can say y has to be 5, x has to be 15, 15 square equal to 225, that works. So both 1 and 2 together is sufficient. So not 1, either is sufficient, no, not 2, only 1 is sufficient but 2 is not, no, 1 alone is not sufficient, 2 alone is not sufficient, it's necessary and sufficient to take 1 and 2 together, that is 1 alone, 2 alone, not enough, both together, enough, lovely teamwork, E works.